Disclaimer. History is not safe for work, and neither is historical. This podcast is uncensored and contains explicit language. to historic hole my name is david and as always i am joined by jason and michael hello there hey and we here at historical we like to take a funny look at history sometimes people sometimes events sometimes fake events sometimes things that people wrote down for instance i think we're towards the end of something that somebody wrote down golly gee i think we're finally going to finish the odyssey <laughs> i thought we were going to do it last week but no my expectations were too high <laughs> sometimes an army shows up at the crest of a mountain <laughs> and changes your plans. <laughs> Golly gee. Yeah. Golly gee. We're a fan of 50s colloquialisms around here. And morals in general from the 50s. Get the papers, get the papers. Not with that haircut. No, I'd be a what, beatnik. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> the Bob has been shut down. I like to think I'd be on... Uh, um... <laughs> the Baba got drafted. <laughs> I like to think I'd be in The Outsiders. I'd be a greaser. <laughs> yeah, I could see it. With that hair, yes. <laughs> but with the hair, yes. For sure. Anywho. Uh, I do they would be- call you 4-Bit. No, I have a cooler name than that. That's because you're the fat version of 2-Bit. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> yes, Michael is quite large. I should just shoot you there. Oh, my God. <laughs> just, <laughs> just add the gun. Michael is quite large. And you're twi- quite yeah. tiny and weak. <laughs> and frail and weak <laughs> like a small man pretty sure he can probably lift something more than me but when we got into a fight who would win <laughs> probably me oh no you're would... frail and weak like telemachus because i'm also uh never mind let's not go there anywho uh so you're scrappy i would just i would just hit you with something so then the odyssey happened <laughs> <laughs> so back to the odyssey yeah. odyssey bar three welcome <laughs> and i think we left off in hades the underworld <laughs> Well, we're Co- we're, we're coming back to to planet Earth. He's just walking, sacrificing goats to keep the ghosts away from him. <laughs> Left and right. And he gets out, gets back to his boat, and sails back to... Uh, what an interesting defense. Well, imagine if that was a defense against ghosts these days. The ghost hunters running through the house, just like, get back. <laughs> <laughs> he just slid a goat's throat. Sorry, Bessie. <laughs> So, uh, it's not a goat name. I'm sorry. They thought it was a cow. See, that's what I did too. Yeah, but yeah, that's our just any call. farm animal name. We're just gonna call him Bessie for like because the goat identified him? as a cow. So, there you go. There you go. Her given name was Bessie. Gets back to Aenea, Circe's island. And it's like, all right, guys, I, I think I know where to go, but ask still ask Circe because she knows where he's supposed to go, so she gives him directions. Uh, and just clears it with her. Yeah. Uh, and she talks, right. <laughs> and she talks about, uh, a few, obst- you know. a few obstacles he might, uh, find upon his way. Uh, one being the sirens, which, you know, lure s- sailors to their death and as they sail into rocks, <laughs> you might see this. It's like the small print and you're like, wait a minute. So how do they do the that? Sirens. What? What you just said. Learn oh, they s- well, they sing. Like they, they yeah. sing to him. Yeah. Okay, that's what I was. Looking it's for. like Lizzo. And so, <laughs> sure, one of the sirens. Yeah, yep, sure is. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> the boat's like sailing the fuck away from that island. <laughs> that's the other island. <laughs> it's like well, Cardi so- B and Lizzo. <laughs> Where the <did> sirens? <laughs> <laughs> well. uh... Cer- Modern day adaptation. Yeah. Cersei tells him just oh, just put some beeswax in your ears and you should be fine. If you can't hear them, you won't be drawn in by their seductive uh song. Uh then she's like, Oh, you also come across something you know, uh Scylla and Charybdis. Of course. Which Scylla is a six headed monster and Charybdis is just a whirlpool. That's one way to call her my ex wife. <laughs> a six headed monster. <laughs> hmm. 
Interesting. <laughs> she was legendary. <laughs> a real battle axe. <laughs> they wrote about her in the Odyssey. <laughs> Yes, he told the judge. <laughs> they wrote a book about her. So, with all this knowledge, Odysseus and his men, they get in their ship, and they sail away. And they come across the sirens. The sirens start, they start hearing the song. So they plug their ears with beeswax. Come and- sail away. <laughs> <laughs> Except for Odysseus. Odysseus is like, just strap me to the, oh, yeah. the pole and... I actually I want to hear it, and if I'm the only person who lives that's heard the song, legendary. So he's just like, strap me up, <laughs> wait, strap wait. me up, boys, <laughs> and they're strap me up, Buttercup. <laughs> We're going to the sirens. <laughs> yeah, they're sailing past him, and he's just like, this shit's amazing. Let's go, T- put me down, and they're just tightening him. Like, nope, we're getting through this. So they eventually do get past. And Odysseus is like, well, that shit was awesome. Legend. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> well, wouldn't, I would think like, you know, just based on the logic, you know, that they kind of set up for the song, that like the whole rest of the story, Odysseus would be like, hey, guys, when are we going back to the island, guys? <laughs> you trying to go back to the fucking island? It's a great song. I'm sure we could go hear more of it. You want to hear it? All I've it's heard great. are like sea shanties and like bongo drums. That was like production and <laughs> there was reverb and <laughs> all sorts of things it was horns. an amazing song. I don't even know what a horn is <laughs> yeah I'm like I can't describe I can't even begin to describe the music I just heard yeah. the right. in- instrumentation like, it's like I don't a remix know. of a Beatles song you know it's like dubbed. I was like oh my god it was amazing and right. terrifying <laughs> every time that his crew keeps they keep catching him trying to turn the, the boat back from then on He's like, no, his, just, yes. his body, like, to the pole is like the sail. And he's like turning it by sheer <laughs> wheels. Like, it's turning us with the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime he gets near the fucking spinny wheel thing that controls the ship, he just starts beating him with a broom. <laughs> he keeps kicking his sandals no. off. It's like, why do we keep putting sandals on it? <laughs> like, a sandal gets it, <laughs> turns it to the right. <laughs> but this isn't a story about uh, addiction, which that would actually be a good <laughs> alliteration for. Alliteration. Alli- Illusion. 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 Leaving Illusion. Lost Troy, starring Nicolas Cage. <laughs> <laughs> he fell in love with a stripper. <laughs> Nick Cage could be a good Odysseus. Yeah. I've seen him with a beard. Doesn't look too bad. But anywho, we get past the sirens, and we come upon Scylla. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and Charybdis. Now, to get past Charybdis, you pretty much have to park it, you know, just go right by Scylla. So she's the monster just starts picking people off. Six, in fact, each for one one for Nobody each of the important, ten. probably. Yeah, right? no. To side, the story. <laughs> side characters. <laughs> Some guy who had wrote one of the other versions of the story, like everything that he's writing is totally wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Odysseus just throws the <laughs> what he wrote over the side. <laughs> no one will ever read this shit. And so they <laughs> s- they sail through that. And they're doing fine. He pushed all, them off, actually. He didn't even get killed by the thing. <laughs> they're on their way. Uh, and then they come upon an island where there are a bunch of cows. And the cows seem mystical speak, don't in speak a way. Don't like, speak about people like that. No, actual farm animals. Oh. Betsy's all around. <sighs> Bessie. Whatever. Bets. <laughs> Whatever. Can't even. We just like established Damn it, Jason. can't do this Betsy. fucking caveman's coming through right now. You should never think oh. about cows. <laughs> I eat cows. I think the island they're on is called Thrinakia. Yeah. Thrinakia. Which a man that Odysseus met in Hades told him, gave him a little bit of advice saying, don't eat the fucking cows. <laughs> eat me moo. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if you just take anything away from this conversation, don't eat the cows. From what Teleca- does that mean? Telecomicalia, wherever the hell it was from. <laughs> Trinikia? Trinikia. Trinikia? Trinikia. 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 I like cows from Alabama. <laughs> so they're there for about a month and a half surviving off of rations until, you know, rations run out. And <laughs> block we'll of see ration. what what's going on is a zoo, or Poseidon, yeah, I believe is Poseidon, is creating storms. Or Zeus, one of them. Is creating storms that keep are keeping them on the island. Most likely so. Poseidon, because Zeus isn't pissed yet. Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. Zeus isn't pissed yet. Um, so yeah, Poseidon is created uh, is pushing, I guess, the current so hard towards the that island. They can't that leave they just the can't island. Can't leave the island. Yeah. So that's how 
They run out of rations. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do but it. But guess what they find? It. He's sitting there drinking a drinking a drink. He just pushes it. No. <laughs> and as always, the shit shit goes down whenever Odysseus decides to take a nap. Uh, so he was sleeping, and his crew just went off and, and murdered a cow and started roasting it. It was several cows, wasn't it? Oh, I'm sure. They hunted these cows, and they weren't supposed. What was the what was the thing? Don't kill the fucking cows. He's like, whatever you do, it's like I haven't slept. I'm really sleep deprived because every time I take a nap, you know what fuck happens. something up. You guys do whatever I tell you. It's like, guys, at this point, you're my crew. You should have, you should believe me. <laughs> Have you not seen the shit we have been through? After all the times I've been right. Yeah. When I've said, don't open that. At this point, don't probably, do this. Yeah. It's been like 13 years at this point. <laughs> right? No. We're only at like eight. It, it, it's still a decent amount of time. To be like, well, come, come on, guys. Maybe, maybe, maybe even like five he's or on six. Calypso's Island for. Well, no, it was five or six after the 10 year war. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so it's like yeah, 13. It's 15 that's what I'm saying. Right yeah, see, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. At th- 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 this point, they're just like, I want to see my kids. <laughs> you know? Right? I'm going to break out of my kid. <laughs> it's like, come on. But they it's don't like, Every time I go to sleep, he's like, do you see how fucking tired I am? That's probably why we ended up in this situation because bags of my And eyes. see, this is like, again, bringing it back to this is an educational tool. This is telling, you know, young Greek men growing up or Greek, whoever, you know, this is why you listen to your authority is because they're right about stuff. Otherwise they'll blow you back to Aeolus's Island or right. you'll fucking kill these divine oh, cows. Yeah. Divine cows. And then Ooh. these are immortal cows, by the way. Moo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when, <laughs> angelic moos. <laughs> and when Helios, <laughs> when you die, <laughs> moo. <laughs> Helios, they lie in the, the stairs. <laughs> Their the family mo- waits at the top. The moos will echo. All cows. The, <laughs> the, the cows belong to Helios, the sun god, who was the son of Zeus. And just yeah. throwing cows after, at the sun. After one of his, after his, his cattle were abused. Not abused. They were fucking killed <laughs> and, and they murdered. fucking cooked them. <laughs> and they're still alive because they're fucking immortal. So like actually in the story, they're describing this situation. The fucking cow meat cooked is like moving on the ground and still breathing and oh it's fucking great oh, it's bro. moving but then oh, Jesus, oh my, my god, god. <laughs> shoot him <laughs> don't do it if this gun is for anything <laughs> this gun is for anything cooking food <laughs> I stir the eggs stegs yeah the stegs you know the stegs yeah if they're know. like eggs but not quite the same thing so Helios complains to Zeus about his cows getting eaten and Zeus is like, well, y'all have done fucked up. And sends a storm. That Comes back in wearing sunglasses. Like, like balls back in. Like, what y'all been doing? Well, I've been being, you know, like king of the gods. Y'all fucked up again. <laughs> <laughs> Every so, time I take a nap. <laughs> oh, damn. I should just stay awake. I can. I don't actually have to sleep. <laughs> it's like, I don't technically need sleep. I'm Zeus, <laughs> but I do enjoy it. But let me tell you that that god liquor. But when it's convenient for their narrative, yeah, I like to sleep. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't like to sleep? That's like what? Yeah, what if your guy like, dude? I just want to take a nap, like the best nap ever. Like he doesn't ever get a shitty nap. Like, Again, so you wake up, and you're like, oh, I still feel groggy. I might as well just stay awake. No, he wakes up always like that was amazing, and I had the best dreams because I gave them to myself, <laughs> or I was Zeus. I mean, going back to this is an educational tool. It's like, dude, take as many naps as you want. Like, it's just like, get rested. A good Greek is a rested Greek. Yeah. It's really what they're saying here. And they probably honestly just got so fucking wine drunk all the time that they're passing out. And this was like the excuse. They're like, oh, yeah. And blood a drunk. nap. Yes. It's just, it is a nap. It's not you're fucked up and you passed out in the middle of the afternoon. <laughs> oh, yes. So a storm sweeps Pretty much destroys. <laughs> so after all that happens, <laughs> it pretty much destroys the boat and kills all the crew. Odysseus yeah. hanging on. Well, this is Zeus does this too. He like sends a thunderbolt. I think that like helps in the general effort of destroying the, the boat. boat. Yes. Yeah, the only thing left of the boat were just the chairs. Uh, <laughs> Odys- pretty much destroyed it. <laughs> Odysseus is clinging on to some lumber, and floating around. <laughs> gets pushed all the gets flown all the way back to uh, Charybdis and Scylla. Narrow is, narrowly escapes Charybdis and winds up on an island 
<laughs> it's like, eh. Where, <laughs> Poke it with his stick. Where then he becomes a sex slave for uh, four or five years or something. <laughs> they just put the ball gag in him, put the <laughs> thing over his head. <laughs> yeah. Welcome, slave. More or less <gasps> was the situation. And now we're back to present day. Where he's with the Phaeacians. <laughs> he pulls out his cell phone. Well, and if Jason wasn't clear enough on his point, that's Calypso's Island. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. Calypso's Island. So that's where we started the story Lightning when we bolt. first see Odysseus with, in the narrative. You may be wondering how we got here. But now we're in present day, and he's just like, I'm tired after telling that. I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> I'm going to take a nap. What a surprise. <laughs> Odysseus will never n- not miss a nap again. Ominous music plays. I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> dun, dun. I don't know why I'm thinking of Jaws. Jaws. But, uh... <laughs> dun, dun. <laughs> nap. Calypso. Just nap. Calypso, so, so, calypso. So the next day, uh... F- Phaecians set him up with a boat, and he gets all crewed out, and they sail him back to Ithaca. But while on the journey... Takes a nap. Falls asleep. Yep. And so when they get there, the fake ends are like, and oh, we'll just like place him here. What is that movie where yeah. you can't fall asleep? We'll see. He's like in a... Such Insomnia? A, Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, yeah, that one. Insomnia? No. <laughs> well, I'm thinking of the that actual one. disease <laughs> of not falling asleep. Oh, no. Yeah. That's also the title of a movie. Well, eventually you'll fall. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, no. I was thinking we're like, yeah, if you fall Robert, asleep, bad Robin shit Robin Williams happens. and Al Pacino. Oh, I know. I'm aware of the movie. Yeah, it's called Insomnia. <laughs> Thanks for just bringing that up. But um, so yeah, he's in such a fucking deep sleep here that they can just like Move lift him. him up and like place him on the ground. And he's <laughs> like still throwing him back and forth. I mean, hey, you know, he's probably fucking tired, even though he took like a million naps on this <laughs> island already. They tie a rope on his leg and they're just dragging him to the water like he still will wake up. <laughs> yeah, it's like, Bro, come on. Like. You know, we thought this would work because, like, they probably splashed some water in his face a few times. That's, you know, that's why they're slapping him in the ocean. Slapping him around a little ro- Hitting him with, a like, a bit. boat paddle, you know, and just, like, none of it's working. There's, like, eight men just, like, swinging, <laughs> like, in a circle. It's, like, smashing him into poles, and it's, like, none of it's working. And <laughs> bang, it's a, bang, bang, bang. And then at a certain point, they're, like, is he dead? I don't know. Just fucking leave him Yeah, here. leave him there. And, and so, give him, you know, all the stuff that uh, the king and queen gave him. They, they leave all of his treasure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then they leave. Um... Now, when they get back to uh, their own country, Poseidon is so pissed at them. Ithaca? No, no, no. Oh, I'm talking about the, the Phaeacians. Phaeacians. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. When the Phaeacians return to their homeland, Poseidon was so pissed at them. Zeus asked, is like, can I punish these people? Because they helped this guy that I actually just really fucking hate. And Zeus is like, yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> so they're actually. <laughs> yeah. What? Sure. <laughs> He's like snorting. <laughs> so at <laughs> what was that oh yeah fuck them yeah take them out whatever so at the some lightning <laughs> as the ship uh, comes into the port Poseidon turns it to stone and it just sinks in front of the Phaeacian village what a good power to have and from then on they hate strangers <laughs> they refuse guest right shit they, the, all the hospitality stuff is out the door for them wow because they're just like well we helped one guy and look what fucking happened yeah, that boat turned to stone in the port, and it went, like, five feet down, but everyone drowned. That would change my attitude. Yeah, me too. Dude, if, like, a car that I, like, <laughs> when I was trying to pulled do back jump, up to my house and just turned to stone, I would probably be like, yeah, last time I fucking help anybody. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Back on Ithaca, Athena's being all tricksy and decides to disguise the island to Odysseus's <sighs> eyes. Just kidding at the casino. <laughs> so when Odysseus wakes up, he thinks the Phaeacians betrayed him and just threw him overboard <laughs> on some <laughs> random island because he doesn't recognize Is anything. Because Athena wants to pull a jest. Yeah. Just see how smart he is. Um, Smartius. <laughs> My favorite character in the story. <laughs> Smartius? <laughs> how smart he is. <laughs> but then she just appears to him and is like, no. Hey. Uh, dis- you know, disguises a sheep herd. Of course, naturally. Riding some cows. And he doesn't, you know, give up his identity and starts questioning her about where the fuck they are. And then she's like, yeah, you're using your head. Good job. And then just reveals, oh, yeah, by the way, you're home. And I'm a thing. <laughs> Bright light. Shot. Guess what? I was yeah. testing you. Just kidding. Fucking Gandalf yeah. shit. It was a test. <laughs> 
Odysseus, <laughs> do not question <laughs> me. He's just like, oh, well, that's cool. Uh, and then just starts thinking about killing all the suitors. And uh, Athena's like, oh, yeah, by the way, Telemachus, he's he's out doing a little odyssey of his own. He's in Sparta right now. Yeah. Uh, he'll be back soon. So why don't you uh, just, you know, cozy up with your old swineherd f- friend, uh, Emmaus, I think his name is. Yeah, I mean, you know. Yeah, sure. Not that we really care anyway. Uh, but um, and he's like, okay. And then she puts a spell on him to make him look older, more feeble. And like put a, a spell yeah. on you. Yeah. A witchy woman. Make him look like he lives from under the bridge. Yeah. So he goes to the swine herd and, uh, you know, because of the hospitality shit, takes him in, starts feeding him a little bit. And Odysseus starts prodding and asking questions, you know, how are the suitors? You know, what's life like at the palace? How's how's everyone? And he finds out that his swineherd friend is a is a loyal guy. You know, praises, hopes that Odysseus is still alive, uh, denounces the the conduct of the suitors. I probably would have sucked that dude's. <laughs> Wait, are you? <laughs> <laughs> And Odysseus is like, uh, he reveals himself <laughs> right before he says that. Hold that thought. <laughs> uh, and Odysseus is like, oh, that's cool. Uh, I th- you know, I think he's going to be back soon. Yeah. Because they exchange, you know, life stories. And he said, Thank oh, well, man. I grew up on Crete and I knew Odysseus in the Trojan War. And, you know, I heard about him being alive in Egypt. See, again, coming back to Odysseus as being like manipulative and trickery here. Yeah. Like he's. Yeah, like this is his whole game. You ever heard of the Trojan Horse? <laughs> Correct. Not yet. Huh. Oh, you ever read it? None of us can read. <laughs> uh, and so we flash over to uh, Telemachus in Sparta. Uh, he's smash cut. <laughs> he gets a message from Athena. Athena appears to him and is like, "I think you should head home now." He's like, "Oh, okay." Um, tells Menelaus and Helen that he's leaving, and uh, Menelaus like. Oh, that's cool. Nice meeting you. Take all this cool shit. You know, it gives him a bunch of treasure and stuff. Um, <laughs> valuables. Carry all those. Menelaus. Loads his ship up with goods. <laughs> Loads his ship up with goods. <laughs> Just yeah. take all this shit <laughs> in the your boat, ship. <laughs> the boat's like sinking. <laughs> yeah. It's going away. Yeah. It's got like 400 pounds more than he arrived with. Telemachus leaves Sparta, heads back to Pylos because uh, Nestor's son had went with him to Sparta, so he drops him back off. Nestor. Uh, but right before he was, uh, he's leaving Pylos, uh, some old beggar approaches him. He's like, hey, can I, uh, can I get on board your ship? Because I need to get out of town. Uh, I'm wanted for manslaughter. And Telemachus is like, yeah, sure. So it takes him along with him back to Ithaca. <laughs> it's like, all right, why not? Yeah, sure. I'm a nice guy. Come on. Get in the carriage. Uh, get this p- boat ain't going to fill itself now. <laughs> Find yourself a seat. Oh, and uh, I forgot, as he was leaving Sparta. Yeah, Quentin Tarantino's The Odyssey. See, I'd watch this. Yeah, everyone's like, come on, get on the boat. <laughs> How do we get here? <laughs> Chapter two. <laughs> How do we get here? It's Odysseus. On the island of cows. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it is written like a fucking Tarantino movie. <clears throat> yeah. Right? Seriously. We've done, yeah. um, as Telemachus was leaving Sparta. It's going to happen. Uh, Helen saw an eagle carrying a goose away to kill it. <laughs> and she's like, oh, well, that's obviously an omen about Odysseus. <laughs> obviously. You know, killing the suitors. I fly. <laughs> it's eagle flying away. And when Telemachus, you know, comes back to uh, Ithaca, uh, a hawk is seen carrying a dove. And people take great importance. Great soap. This bird violence. They they just really (laughs) like to interpret, you know. It's like birds just doing shit in the sky. They're like, it's a sign from the gods. It's bird law. (laughs) It's like, you just don't understand, bro. The birds are telling us what's real <laughs> and what's fake. And what's bird. <laughs> and That's why fly. the government created them. <laughs> <laughs> you think those birds are real? Yeah, spy, spy you're, one bird. The, you're one of those birds are real people. Oh, yeah, right. 
please. Yeah, you know, where do they go once they get over the horizon? <laughs> you just believe Big Bird's lies. <laughs> yeah, you part of Big Bird. <laughs> big Bird. <laughs> Not to be confused with the Sesame Street character, we're talking about the corporate manufacturing syndicate that produces the bird spies in secret that are all electronic and not even real. Self-explanatory, David. Whose logo is, in fact, the big bird from Sesame Street. Unfortunately. To throw people off the scent. It is actually unfortunate. Well, see, that is it, exactly what it no, is. No, but see, Jason's <laughs> what he's onto right there is this is what this is what the CIA always does is what they always do is anything that you can search online that takes you somewhere that reveals the truth. They always come up with something. They always make something happen that is in a place with a similar name <sighs> with a similar thing and or, or a similar acronym or whatever the fuck. So when you BB, go and search it, bird. that comes up instead of the thing instead of the truth. Open your mind, people. <laughs> Big bird can't fly. Look at those wings. <laughs> He's what more, is he? He's more of an ostrich, if anything. Yeah, he's like big ostrich. <laughs> but he's not even an ostrich. No, he's not. He's a fucking amalgamation. He's like big giraffe bird. He was bird. created in a lab by scientists, by the CIA scientists. That by the Jurassic Park people. <laughs> yeah, in conjunction with Steven Spielberg and the Jews in Hollywood. Um, yes. Well, it, was that age, it was actually that age. This is why we yeah. don't give David uppers. <laughs> this is why you don't let me talk. Michael's always like, you need to talk more. I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> yeah. I'll talk more, all right. Yeah. yeah. I'll show you. Meanwhile, Big Bird is like right beside the camera, just like, you keep talking more. <laughs> you know, you seen that? You seen that video of Big Bird kicking the door open? Yeah, that's what's going to fucking happen here. He's coming. Now that I've revealed the truth, guys, Big, this is the last episode. Big Bird's coming. What? We all learn a wholesome lesson from the guy who lives in a trash can. Well, so when Telemachus gets back, uh, he doesn't want to take all the goods that Metalaus just gave him back home yet because he doesn't want the suitors just to take them. So he's like, boys, just leave the goods on the, uh, on the ship here and let's go home. But before they get going, Athena appears to him. He's like, go see the swine herd. <laughs> he's like, well, I, th- I have a, a hunch that I should go see a swine herd. So Telem. Telemachus himself. He just, no, he smelled bacon. That's what it was. He walked by a bacon stall and he was like, saw the clouds of like a pig, like, <laughs> the immortal pig. <laughs> immortal pig. Oink, oink, bitches. <laughs> That's Michael's first stand up special. So, uh, Telemachus gets back to the, or gets to the swineherd's hut. Uh, <laughs> And of course, Emmaus is overjoyed that the prince is back home. So he rushes off to go tell Penelope. <laughs> Ruz is pushing doors open. <laughs> <laughs> the prince is back. <laughs> Have you heard? <laughs> that old man has never been so sprightly. <laughs> He's like the dude in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, you know. It's just like, oh man, I'm disabled. It's like, oh shit, we go to the Chocolate Factory? <laughs> he jumps up. <laughs> Sign me the fuck up. <laughs> The prince is here. We about went in factory. <laughs> so he rushes off. Starts dancing. And of course, uh, Odysseus in his beggar mode, uh, beggar clothes, <laughs> starts talking to Telemachus. That's a like, DLC that no one really wanted. It's like, yeah. you could have Odysseus, like fighter of the Trojan, winner of the Trojan War, or beggar mode Odysseus. <laughs> you have sex slave Odysseus. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He's got a ball. He's, like, here's a ball. he's got like a sword and then he's got a ball. Man, he's like, he can't do anything except for head bump because he's yeah. he can't, can't head bump. He can't. Different character skins. Yeah. That's cool. But then nobody ever plays as the frail beggar Odysseus. Oh, everyone would just plays Achilles. Like, it would be one of those scares. Like, why would you not play as anyone but Achilles? <laughs> <laughs> of course, if you get enough points, you can play as the god of war. <laughs> you know. Zeus, he occasionally shows up. That's Honestly, like a weekly special. I would play that fighting game. Oh, I totally yeah, would. Yeah, if there was just cool. a fighting game with like Greek heroes, Greek Hector. heroes, and gods, and yeah. you could just like it's like mortal, mortal combat, immortal yeah. combat. Or something. Ah. Oh, dude, it would have to be mortal. No, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, it would be violent. Every shit. S- every generation. Yeah, it'd be like the new Mortal Kombat. Yeah, we see like the like skulls breaking, but with the gods, it's like we don't actually have like real things. <laughs> no, you don't <laughs> need all that. Great- I don't know. You don't need all that. Jazz. I don't know. You know uh, what? I'll pay you're someone to do it. A little like too Steve, far. Steve Jobs. You know what? We're gonna Steve Jobs. You know what? We're gonna delegate this. Someone make it. Kickstarter. Yeah. Anywho, Kickstarter coming soon. <laughs> Not for the show, but for the stupid fucking game we just came up with. <laughs> it's a good game. 
Uh, so uh, I play it right now. <laughs> to let <laughs> I know I kind of really want to play it right you now. You know what? God damn it! Let's cancel this episode and we'll come back. Once let's just cancel this right. podcast entirely and just devote our lives to developing this game. <laughs> We're selling everything. This is in our here. future now. We've de- we've figured it out. Yeah. Immortal Kombat. <laughs> really? It's Jason would just be like there. the Calypso, like Island Lady. Dude, you could have all of the characters. You got fucking Agamemnon. Aphrodite just shows you her You could have sea nymphs, like as like a yeah, bonus dude. thing that like attack. Or, or just you could play as one. Why not? Oh, I mean, yeah, that would be like the super deal like, for the people that the want DLC. to. Yeah, who wants yeah, well, to? Yeah, who wants that you could have Yeah, Hector. who wants to be a sea nymph when you could be like something cool. Hercules. Jason, Heracles, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, yeah Hercules Jason. is it's just Jason right here. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to cut that so we're, no one we're, steals we're, that yeah, idea. Yeah, someone's gonna steal. Odysseus and his son speak for the first time. Sh- he shares his story of, uh, "I came from Crete." You know, basically what he told Imasis. Yeah, exactly. He's not revealing um, who he is immediately. And Telemachus is like, "Oh well, I just heard my dad might be alive," and blah blah blah. And I think it's like, "Go outside and then come back in." <laughs> So he goes up outside and comes back in, and he's in his his original skin, Odysseus form. And they're like, "Hey, default skin. You've never seen me, but guess what? I'm your father." And <laughs> Telemachus is like, "You sure are." And they hug it out, and then start scheming. <laughs> no, like no, 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 big no, old no. bro hug. Telemachus doesn't believe him at first. You have to point this he, out he because said that. this is what happens. Is any like the the. Bless you, Rhaegar. The few times that Odysseus is actually like straightforward and direct and not being like manipulative and tricky, people don't actually believe him. And like this is one of the ironies here. One of the big moments where it's really pro- or obvious is, yeah, when Telemachus is like, you're not my dad. And he's just like, nah, I'm your dad. And he's like, you're my dad. <laughs> Come here, big guy. Now. I wh- never met you. Gives him a noogie. Yeah. And then they, something like, you're totally my dad, like, totally my dad, bro. <laughs> and then they start uh, coming up with ideas about how to murder all the people that are in their Yo. house right now. Kill these suitors. And Odysseus comes Our up house. with a brilliant idea. He's just like, what if we did a sneak attack from the inside? <laughs> what if we bought the house and lived in there, <laughs> invited people to back over, and then we killed them? <laughs> It's like, Odysseus, you've done this before. You <laughs> sneak inside and then you kill everyone. He's like agent. Yeah, what Odysseus. does this remind you of? Yeah, right. 47. And I'm like, yeah, that's a good idea. So <laughs> they decide. up like Odysseus. He's the barcode on the back of his head. It's a Trojan horse without the horse. Yeah. They're going <laughs> to. What if? <laughs> I get this, guys. Hide all the weapons that are just <laughs> randomly lying around yeah, the house. Yeah, just random weapons. Yeah, they're going to gather them up, hide those away so that when, when the time is nigh. Just behind, like. The bamboo or <laughs> whatever. Hidden plant. behind the, the upholsteries on the wall. Some pillars. Come on. You got to have Greek pillars, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's no walls. <laughs> when it gets windy, it sucks. It's really cold. Column, I think you're called. Pillar, column. Column, whatever. Whatever. Column. So Telemachus, <laughs> Telemachus goes back uh, to the palace to see his mom. Uh, tells her the news of what they found out. Have you heard the good news? And Odysseus decides to go back w- with the swineherd. He because the swineherd comes back to the hut. Then Telemachus leaves, I know and then those the two go back to the palace together. Um, Odysseus is going to start blending in. Yeah, but once he gets there, all the suitors are just like very rude and start throwing things at him, insulting him. He gets into a fist fight with another <laughs> another beggar who just wandered into the place. So there's no order. It's anarchy in his house. Beats him within an inch of his life. And then someone throws a stool at him. Uh, He's like a stool? Really? Guys, like the tomatoes, I was all right with, but the stool? uh, One of the suitors, Amphinius, (laughs) Amphinomus, whatever, uh, he sort of... Suterius. Gives Odysseus food, you know, is actually yeah. kind of nice to him. This is a guy I brought up in the first episode. Yeah, he's kind of a nice guy, and Odysseus starts feeling really bad because he's like, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to kill you. Yep. But see, yeah. But thanks th- for being nice. This is the only time where the suitors are ever shown in a sympathetic light was only one of them being kind of nice to Odysseus. <laughs> so, fuck all of them. But while uh, 
you know, Odysseus thinking all these thoughts, he's starting to calm down. Athena's like, no, there's going to be blood tonight. So she inspires some of the suitors. (laughs) (laughs) So she inspires some of the suitors to start, you know, insulting him again. Mm. Someone else throws a stool at him. (laughs) Just a stool again, really? (laughs) Who threw that stool? It's like the like the stools piled up, like it's at the end it's of like the night. It's just like you know, like stool, stool. Before it gets too crazy, uh, Telemachus comes in and shuts it down. Um, the voice of reason. I just throw another stool. He's like, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Enough stool throwing. He catches the stool. <laughs> Enough with the stools. Enough stool. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, Jason's laughing because he's thinking of poop. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, overnight, Odysseus and uh, Telemachus go about the house picking up all the, the random weapons. Um, Athena is, you know, eerily lighting the way. So, th- Have you done the competition yet? Has this happened? No. Okay. Yeah, we're coming up on it. All right. Yeah. Just making sure. Yeah. Because they're gathering up the Part weapons four, to hide. Part four, you had to say. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, <laughs> by God, we're, we're going to get through it today. They put them in the storeroom, and then Penelope comes down. Uh, and wants to see the beggar who suffered all that mistreatment by the suitors because she had heard that he had news of her husband. So they start talking a little bit. Word travels not very fast. <laughs> Apparently, because he'd been there like a day. Have you heard the <sighs> trips? Oh, the news is done. <laughs> so they start talking, and um, hey. you know, he re- gives his Crete story again. Uh, and she's very emotional. She starts crying a lot because she doesn't know if he's actually going to come back and decides right then she's just going to do... She has a ch- a, challenge, a competition in mind and it'll be over and done with. And at that point, she asks her uh, servant lady to uh, go ahead and wash Odysseus's feet. And while doing so, she, she notices a scar on his leg He's like, oh, you know who has that scar? Odysseus. And she gets all shocked. But he's like, no, don't tell anyone. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not going to tell. So when Jason Bourne disappears, I'm not going to tell. It's I'll never tell. (laughs) Fuck's sake, man. You just can't even. I'm not going to (laughs) tell. Just add that to the fucking list, the ever-growing list. Oh, there was more earlier, <laughs> before we even started this show. Uh, They're ever-present. Yes. We were talking about cats and dogs, and Jason was thinking of spy kids. And said, oh, yeah, spy dogs. <laughs> <laughs> now it's on the record. <laughs> okay, so the next day, Penelope gathers everyone and lays down the rules of the competition. There are going to be 12 axes that you have to shoot an arrow through, and it's Odysseus's bow. 50 caliber axe. And, and you have to string it yourself. Yep. And what's interesting about this description is, like, people still argue about what shooting an arrow through axes actually means. Like, there's that, that production company that has, like, an intro of Odysseus shooting the arrow through yeah, the axes. Yeah, I think axis. it's, like, TSG or something. Yeah, and, like, that... But... <laughs> Like, the depiction of that, like, that's just, like, one interpretation of what that would be. Like, they're hollow fucking axes in that thing. It's like, this is not a very effective axe, you know, that can just break on you like that. Um, some people are talking about maybe, like, you know, some axes have the, a hole in them, like, to where you hang them on the wall. So maybe those are, like, tiny holes that she's talking about shooting this fucking arrow through. Um, some people think maybe on the handle, like where you have yeah. like a handle you hang up. And so it's like there's all these interpretations of what that fucking actually means, but nobody really even knows. So there's just, you know, interpretations of it, like whatever TSG's production intro. Yes. And so all the suitors are like, awesome. I could totally string this and shoot, do that. I could totally do that. So they, they start attempting. And of course they can't, they can't do it because they, <laughs> of course, not. they're not Odysseus. And while everyone's bickering over who's going to go next and who can and can't do it, uh, Odysseus takes the swine herd and another uh, servant of his outside where he's just like, you know, questions them about their loyalty. And then once he feels like they're uh, on his side, reveals his identity with the scar again on his leg. And it's I think like, it's on his leg. Uh, 
go inside. <laughs> we're gonna lock the doors. We're gonna fucking lock the door. We're gonna kill everybody. Yeah, we're gonna yes. kill everybody. Just spit it out, yeah. Christ. So they go back inside. This is why it's taking three fucking episodes. <laughs> They're gonna go back outside, or they go back inside. And so something's yeah. happening. I don't know what. All right. So they all they go back inside. They're on the roof. The <laughs> they're about to do battle. Yeah, they're inside. The suitors are like, well, why don't we wait till tomorrow? We'll <laughs> we'll give an offering to Apollo, the god of archery, and then we'll do it. And Odysseus is like, no, I want to try. Where as soon as he gets the bow, strings it, shoots the arrow, and then he immediately shoots one of the shooter or suitors in the throat. <laughs> And everyone's like, oh, that's clearly an accident. Like, didn't realize what was going on. And then arrows just started flying everywhere. <laughs> Telemachus gets a spear and just runs people through. <laughs> Rambo shows up, turns the machine yeah. gun around the back of the Jeep. <laughs> starts and shooting yeah. everybody. Yeah, kicks the door open with the M60 <laughs> and just starts fucking. <laughs> now <they're... laughs> It's pouring sweat. There were some servants who liked the suit. I didn't want to do this. <laughs> there were, I'm a victim of the system. <laughs> <laughs> there were some suitors who liked the, or some servants who liked the suitors. So they found the suitors, suitors and servants. <laughs> they found the storeroom where the extra weapons were held. Uh, got some of those. Why did anyone lock that? <laughs> but on a return trip, the two uh, servants that Odysseus talked to outside just like beat the fuck out of him and locked him in the storeroom just to get that out of the way. And then, yeah, they just started murdering people left and right and yep. eventually just kill everyone. Yep. And then... Fill in the details yourself. Yeah, I mean, it goes on for a little bit. Stab death, stab death, shoot death. And then there's basically, like, one last thing, right? Well, yeah, but I, I did like this part. Uh, they had uh, all the disloyal servants come in and clean the oh. room. Yep. Oh. clean up the, the bloody mess uh, and then Odysseus like okay go ahead and kill them all uh, told his son to just cut their heads off and Telemachus comes back at him with no we'll hang them instead they don't deserve a, a you know a warrior's death why not both <laughs> and, and one tear just falls from Odysseus's <laughs> eye at that moment he's just like that's, that's my cruel boy. as that's shit my, that's my boy that's my boy <laughs> that's really fucked up that's my boy right there. It's really fucked up. <laughs> and then they fumigate the house. Yep. Well, as one is wont to do. Now, during... Pest control shows up. During all the fighting, though, Penelope was just sleeping it off upstairs. Yeah, a nap, you know, Oh, whose na who's nap was actually causing all of this? <laughs> so she comes down in a state of shock because as soon as she comes in, like, you have a nice, beautiful house because everything's clean. But there's her <laughs> husband who's <laughs> been gone... For <laughs> wakes up. <laughs> and there's her husband who's been gone for 20 years, and she can't really believe it. Uh, hey, babe. <laughs> yeah, well, she doesn't quite recognize him still because of the, Athena's still got the spell on him. And so she asks him a question that only he would know the answer to. <laughs> Move the birthing bed. How yeah, many, well, how the, many the penises the do I have? <laughs> well, it, it, she asks him about uh, their yeah bed. Uh, and well, she asks a servant. You had one bed back then. She asks a servant to move the marriage bed, and Odysseus is like, "You can't fucking move that bed." Yeah, exactly. I built that bed around a goddamn tree. Yep. You can't move that bed. And she's like, "Okay, yeah, that's my husband." Yep. And that's what confirms it for her. That's how she knows it's Odysseus. And then they go bang it out. Yeah, and oh. that's the end. And there was a poised quite on that. Well, there's yeah. a little epilogue, but I guess we don't have to do that. Yeah, who cares what happens? There's I a know. little epilogue. Yeah. What's the, what happens? To the Where epilogue? he goes sees his father. No one cares about yeah, the father. Yeah, I mean, okay, yeah, you know, just throw it there. Yeah, because yeah, he goes see his father. Uh, his father doesn't is old and doesn't really recognize him, so he pretends to be someone else and talks to him, and then is like, oh, yeah, by the way, I'm your son, and they hug it out, and then all of the suitors... And they bang it out. <laughs> and then all of the suitors' parents storm their estate because they're pissed off about their kids getting killed, and then so they start attacking... Larity's Odysseus' father kills one guy, and then Larity's, Athena, also known as Larry, <laughs> Athena comes in, stops it, and then <laughs> whoa, then bewitches everyone to forget that their kids were murdered. And, Great show. And Odysseus is king, and the, thus peace is restored to Ithaca. And thus, and that the end of and that is the end of the Odyssey. The official Somehow. end to the Odyssey. Correct. Official. 
We did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> we fucking we made did it. it. <gasps> like, hey, the waters were choppy. Like the town of Mount Everest, we take off the oxygen mask. Like, <gasps> let me get some of that thin air. <laughs> we did it. Yeah, the the waters were choppy, but God damn it, we got home. Yep. Took us 20 years, but we did it. Probably the longest we've ever spent on one topic was this shit. But it was fun. You know, it's obviously an odyssey. Huh? It was an odyssey. <laughs> Stupid. It was a fucking journey. You know, of, it's a journey. Of epic proportion. Like, watch, watch my drunk level throughout all three episodes. Which one is the worst? Which one is the best? <laughs> it's an odyssey. Twitter poll. <laughs> yeah. Which episode of the odyssey was Michael <laughs> least drunk? Vote on Twitter. I'll give you a hint. It was the fourth one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll get to the shill stuff. Shit. Oh. Give us five stars on iTunes or five dead suitors. That'd be nice. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Us, yeah. Give us five marriage bets. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Give us five beds built on trees. Give us five heads of Scylla. Scylla. Good God. Don't give us anything. Yeah. But you don't give us a six one. Just like and comment. Or you can delude yourself into thinking we're good and then just vote anyway. Even if we suck. Which we clearly do at this point. Look at this. Look at this sad low energy end of the episode. Uh, well, we're home. We want to take that nap. This shit. Yeah, yeah we're, exactly. we're basically on our post coil nap. Sorry. We, yeah, we, shot our, we shot our we shot our shill and we're ready to sleep. <laughs> we blew our shill wide and now we're trying to get some rest. Some postcoital rest. All right, if you're listening but you I'm like watching, if you're will, if you're listening and you like watching, we are on YouTube, so you can find us there. You've heard of it? It's a thing, but you know, big tech's gonna fucking shut everything down within a year, probably. Oh yeah. Especially after that CIA rant. Holy shit! Um, follow us on social media platforms like Instagram and Twitter. Um, I post the full episodes to IGTV. You can check it out there if you like Egg. into that kind of shit. Egg TV. And um, the best thing you can do to support us is word of mouth. Um, you know, we obviously don't sell anything. We don't have any merch or anything like that. But just telling people about us and telling people, like, hey, like, if this is good or if you liked it, you know, do that. Uh, that's the we're literally the best thing you could do for us. Um, and so we appreciate any of that, any, any of the support that we get on. The best online. thing you can do for us is give us a million dollars. I love it. I love it. I love you Tax all. Tax free. Oops. <laughs> So um, you can email us at historichole at gmail.com if, you know, you want to scam us. Or if you're David's grandpa. We'll probably get dick pics or something. That's probably the only thing we'll ever get to that email. It's better than nothing. Um, Not that we've gotten any. Um, sent, yes. <laughs> we just send each other dick It's just pics. Michael, yeah, it's just spamming, <laughs> spamming the email with his dick pics. Um, and, you know... <laughs> I really feel like a uh, good state. <laughs> we haven't done a statement of modernity that's really lived up to the, to the hype. To the hype. Yeah. What hype? Yeah. Everyone's everyone waits. Everyone waits at the end of every episode to hear the statement yeah. of modernity. No and, one skips forward. No. And I, you know what? I don't <laughs> think this week's going to be any different either. So, um, <laughs> you know, if you lie to yourself, anything is possible in this world. And yeah. <laughs> Life is full of holes. Enter wisely. Bye. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs>